All right, we are on the draw with Rug Delver. This hand looks pretty good. I'm going to keep. We have a cantrip with the bobble. Little bit of interaction thanks to Lightning Bolt, Mana Leak, Snapcaster Mage as well. We probably bolt their Delver, right? We had a couple lands and a threat with the Goyf. I'm pretty sure I want to just bolt that Delver right now. Uh, usually you want to kill Delvers so they can't untap and then have counter magic. Um, there's no real downside to doing that. The real question is, do we want to use this Bobble beforehand to see if we want to keep what's on top of our library? We're going to crack the Bobble, target ourselves. Take a peek at what's on top of our deck, and then we'll either shock with steam vents, or we might even just fetch shock out of stomping ground off one of the misties if we really don't want to draw it. It's entirely possible that we don't want to have two red sources on three lands, because I usually don't, but I think if the scry is good enough, we're going to do it. Goyf's a pretty good card, especially against blue-red decks. They have trouble with resolved Goyfs. If the opponent isn't splashing black or white, Goyf's probably going to be really strong. Assuming it resolves, but our goal is to get a Goyf to resolve. We draw the Tarmogoyf. And we're going to see what the opponent has in store for us. Black Splash. We are playing against Grixis Delver. Most likely holding up counter magic. There's no need to play a Goyf into that. We'll just hold up Mana Leak. We're going to play a little game of Drago with our opponent. Serum Visions is fine. I wonder when you're actually supposed to start countering Serum Visions, because I don't usually do it early, unless I suppose there's strong evidence that the opponent's mana screwed, then it's not a bad idea to start doing it early. We're going to grab a Breeding Pool off of this Misty, we're probably going to get a Forest off the other one. Uh, I know I like to do it late game when they're top decking, because then it's relatively likely that the Serum Visions is going to be used to filter their draws get them some good top deck, so I don't mind countering it there. Unless we're in a strong enough position that we just need to counter their action spells. I think we're going to use this Foothills, get ourselves the basic forest, and just play a Goyf holding up the steam vents. We don't actually have counter magic up, but we can't have Goyf plus leak until next turn, and I don't really want to take a turn off. There's a pretty good chance this just gets pushed right now. Oh, it did not get pushed. That puts us in a good spot, because it means the opponent has to answer Goyf now. Which means next turn we do get play Goyf, have Mana Leak up, without them having as much mana available to them. Which sounds delightful. Goyf is a 5-6, thanks to Bobble. Bobble's great. A Mishra's Bobble reprint would be fantastic. That would make me very happy. Seems pretty unlikely they'd do it, but it would be great. Here's a Tassiger probably leaving one of the Serum Visions in the yard. That or it's going to be Tassiger, Delve Everything, then Push Goyf. Nope. Oh, they are Delving Everything. Maybe they're holding up blue. Yeah. Ooh, I wonder if Grixis Delver has started playing Stubborn Denial. They shrunk our Goyf. That is interesting. Okay, so we can double bolt Tassiger, or we play a second Goyf, hold up Mana Leak, and just have a decent position here. I think we're going to go with that. Do I want to get a basic island off of this Misty? We might end up wanting another Steam Vents for double bolt. And I know I don't have any green spells, so let's just do that. Ooh, Spell Snare. Do we leak that? Do I Mana Leak Spell Snare? Um, probably. 
Yeah, it seems pretty decent. They haven't pushed this goif yet, and they had quite a bit of opportunity to do so, so I'm going to assume they don't have a fatal push handy right now. We're going to counter Spell Snare. Puts the shields down again. It would have been nice if we had Goyf, Manalik, Tassiger, but alas, the opponent was on the play. It would also be fantastic if someone could play a sorcery at this point. But, what are you gonna do? Oh, that'll put a creature in the bin. Which is quite good for us. We're gonna be bolting that Delver. They probably swing with the Tassiger, but they, yeah, they want to keep it back, slow the game down. That's fine by me. I think we're going to play this Scalding Tarn, because we actually have the opportunity to bolt, bolt, snap, bolt, if we really want to. So I don't mind giving up the bluff. I think I want to bolt the Delver before getting in the red zone, just in case they have counters, because I don't really want to swing with the Goyfs. Try to get fancy bolting the Delver mid-combat, and then have Tassiger eat one of our Goyfs because they counter the bolt. Oh, playing the Scalding Tarn also means we have Snap Leak up. Although, Leak's probably getting kind of bad at this point. I do think I'd rather put down Snap Leak if it meant we could bolt that Tassiger, because that gets it off the table. And that sounds nice. Does that resolve? <clears throat> Tassiger activation in response. Sure. <clears throat> that means it will resolve. Uh, Snapcaster Mage is really good. Spell Snare is also good. I might give them Delver just because we can snap bolt it anyways. Tassiger down. Let's go to end step. Hopefully these goifs can go relatively uncontested. Delver comes down, yes. Absolutely. Now, I don't think we're going to use the Scalding Tarn yet, because we don't actually need that mana, and I'd rather not take the damage if I didn't have to. Tassiger's got 4 power. Aberration has 3 power. Going down to 12 is definitely relevant. We can also pseudo scry if we top deck the other bobble. So I think there's a non zero amount of value, excuse me, in leaving up the fetch. We're going to get in here with both. I don't think there's a reason not to. Yep, they jump. That's fine. Saves me from having to deal with it. At this point, I don't think there's much value out of the leak in our graveyard, so I think we're just going to put Snap Leak down for Goyf. We still have Snap Bolt. And I'm 90% sure... Ooh, Remand. We can't Snap Leak anymore. I think that's fine. It's a little annoying that our opponent gets to draw off of it. I'd almost rather just lose the Goyf. It's very interesting that our Grixis Delver opponent's playing Remand, though. I don't believe that's common. Serum Visions is good for us, although it's at least somewhat good for the opponent. I wonder if that's a Visions I would counter. Serum Visions is a really interesting card to me because I know sometimes I want to counter it, but I don't know when that is. Right now, the opponent still has three cards in hand. I wonder if that's relevant. Now there's at least a decent chance that they have push. They've seen a decent amount of cards. They've been through a third of their deck. We're gonna get in there. If they don't do anything, they are dead. Okay, they died. Fantastic. I was half expecting something like a cryptic command, in which case snap leak becomes amazing because it just wins us the game, but that's besides the point. We took it, thanks to Goyf. Tarma Goyf's a great card. Not a secret. Ah, uh, Knuckle Blade. Do I want Knuckle Blade? 
I don't know how much Grixis Delver runs Terminate these days. Hopefully MTG Goldfish can tell us, but Grixis Delver isn't exactly common, so that's going to be a really small sample size. I'm at least somewhat considering boarding out Mandrills. It's very good against Push, but it's very bad against Tassigur and Gurmag Angler. So I think it's probably worth boarding out a number of it. Probably before I start boarding out any Savage Knuckle Blade. Then again, there's exactly one of those, so... Let's see... There is a Grixis Delver entry on MTG Goldfish. There is one deck, 0.18% of the meta. This particular deck ran Tomb Stalker, in case anyone's interested in that. Uh, this is going to be the worst sample size ever. Okay, I see Terminate, and Dreadbore, and a non-zero amount of Cryptic Command Glimmer of Genius. That is interesting. So this is probably a more mid-rangey version of Grixis Delver that I was just looking at. Um, we're going to take absolutely no information from that. And instead, I'm just going to sideboard the way I sideboard. That looks pretty good, these seven cards. Blood Moon is good against them. Makes it pretty hard for them to cast their more color-intensive spells. Can also just color screw them. It's another threat, especially in case they're running discard, which they very well might be. Some even run it out of the sideboard. Vapor Snag's good against the fatties. Huntmaster's just good in general. It's card advantage, it shoots things, it burns face, it's big and beefy. Spell Snare is good because it counters two CMC spells which are pretty common. Thought Scour is going to go because I don't expect to need much velocity. We're going to cut one Hooting Mandrills. 40 seconds left. The Bolts look excellent here. I don't mind cutting the Shoals. And one more card has to go. It might be this Mana Leak. Although I kind of like it. Maybe Denial? Hmm. It could be second Mandrills is the cut. Maybe we do that? I don't hate that. I kind of want the mana leaks and everything. They're good answers to delve creatures. Then again, I'm boarding in more things like that. Let's cut a mana leak. Why not? We're on the draw. We can justify that. How good's this hand? It's not fantastic, but it is definitely gas. Our opponent mulliganed. We're looking at turn one delver, probably. Turn two... Visions, throw in a bobble to draw once we've scried. Or maybe we bobble before cracking this fetch, but probably not. The opponent's got a Nihil spell bomb, so that traverse is probably going to be pretty bad. Hopefully we can get them to pop that before we show them the Mishra's bobble, because that's a pretty juicy graveyard target. We hit our third land, but I don't think we really care about it. Uh, given that we are running Blood Moon, I don't think we're going to use any of the fetches just yet. I'm going to start off on just a Delver. See if we can put them on the back foot. Probably not, but maybe. We might be able to get them to waste a Fatal Push on it, which would make me very happy. They're casting Serum Visions before their land drop, which means they're either digging for lands, want information to inform their land drop, and they probably don't want, don't have a fetch land in hand. They didn't bolt yet. They might be fishing for information off of the Delver reveal. They scooped. That's a little annoying. That's happened to me a lot with X Mage recently. Hopefully, I can get to MG, MTGO somewhat soon. That first game was still pretty good though, so this is probably going to get published. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video, more specifically the first game, because the second game was pretty lackluster. Um, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.